Recently, I had an opportunity to score a logo animation for my friend Jonathan Winbush as part of his Unreal Engine Epic Games uh, partnership uh, that he's doing. And so I wanted to record this video to uh, break down and walk through how I went about doing that. So let's get to it. So here we are in Cubase, and I have the logo animation open up right here in the video. Um, if you, if there's anything in this video that you would like to know more about, definitely let me know in the comments below. I'm going to kind of run through this pretty quickly, but uh, if there's anything that you would like me to record another video about or spend a little bit more time explaining, definitely let me know in the comments below. Um, but here we are. I'm going to play through the logo animation, and uh, this is what Jonathan gave to me, and. Um, you know, the only creative that he really, you know, kind of gave me in terms of direction was he kind of wanted a Tomb Raider type feel to it. And he did kind of want some kind of, um, uh, uh, not hit, but um, he, he kind of a resolution, if you will, when the logo resolves. And so that's one of the things that I did here. So one of the first things that I did um, was I actually created, um, uh, I used a product here called... <clears throat> called Damage. I'm going to actually open it here. Uh, here we are with Damage. This is Damage 2, uh, Heaviosity's new product here. And this is amazing. I'm going to close this video back here. Uh, this is amazing. And so actually, one of the first things that I did was I actually... Because I had this, you know, again, like I said, Jonathan's um, Jonathan's note was, you know, Tomb Raider-esque. And so I had this kind of drum beat going on in my head. And Damage 2 fulfilled that uh, that desire and that need in spades. I mean, this, this is amazing. And I can do another video about just about Damage 2 if you'd like. Uh, let me know in the comments below. Uh, but this is how I started. I started with Damage 2 and I got... I did that little drum beat. Now, it ended right there because that was actually kind of where Jonathan said that he wanted um, uh, he wanted the music to kind of resolve or end. And so uh, that was one of the first things that I did. I added that in there. And then uh, beyond that, uh, after that, I should say, um, I wanted to add some sound design elements to it. And so one of the things that I did was um, I used uh, UVI, uh, their uh, Extreme Effects 1.5. Now, I am actually going to be doing some other videos about UVI and Extreme Effects, so stay tuned for those. Um, this is not sponsored by UVI, but UVI did give me um, uh, a temporary license uh, to use Extreme Effects. Um, so the, stay tuned uh, to the channel. I'm going to be doing more videos about extreme, extreme effects as well as Falcon as well, too. So I um, have a number of actual uh, of, of uh, layers here uh, of the um, uh, of the sound effects here. I'm going to actually mute damage here so we can hear some of these. <laughs> So these are the sound effects that I'm getting from Extreme Effects. So this is a really, really great product. And again, uh, like I said earlier, I'm going to be doing uh, some more videos um, talking about this stuff. Um, but it is um, pretty easy to find some things. They've got they've got some wonderful things here um, in this particular little library. Um, they've got um, uh, these wonderful um, scenes, which is really good. Uh, I actually used, um, I think there was an underwater one that I used, which is right here. Yeah. So, um, which is, I used it right here. Where is it? No, I didn't use the underwater one. Sorry. Um, I used um, Night and Day, which is also one of the uh, scenes here. And then I used uh, this. Oh, I used Water World. That's what I would. That's what I used. Not underwater. I used Water World. Um, so... So as you can hear, all those wonderful sound effects going on there. Um, 
that's night and day. Um, so anyway, so I used um, some of these sound design elements uh, as well too, in addition to uh, the drum hits. And it, it some of it's really kind of subtle and faint, so it's really kind of hard to hear some of those things. And you hear most of it. Uh, uh, you hear most of it when the logo resolves, which is really great and kind of and wonderful. And so, um, uh, beyond that, I um, uh, after I added those things, I wanted to you know kind of get some musical elements to it, some you know kind of some nice uh, brass elements to it. And so for that, I used um, Heaviosity's uh, Forzo. And I use the brass designer here um, to uh So as you can hear, actually, I think I need to go back. Um, oh, this is not, I'm sorry, this is so I used Forzo to give me uh, those particular elements, and I have actually two instances of Forzo. And this top instance right here um, is actually I'm going to solo this so we can hear that. So that let's actually add in the drums. So as you can kind of hear that, it adds kind of a nice little bass element to that. And then beyond that, I added um, another layer of Sforzo. Sforzo. So here we go. I've got the loop designer. Um, so one of the other things that I did as well, too, is I used a couple of, um, there were a couple of patches, um, for, uh, Fort so that I used, um, but I didn't want the entire, uh, sample. So I actually, um, resampled it, if you will, and I just brought in one segment of uh, one of the samples that was in the um, uh, the loop designer, as you can hear here. And then I also have uh, another kind of hit from Forzo that. So, um, and then on top of that, I added um, some Heaviosity Novo um, to uh, add some more kind of musical elements to this as well, too. So with this particular patch, it's also the loop designer. And actually, I'm going to, let me go back here. Let me mute those. Um, I'm going to mute that, that, and oh, let's mute all of you. Um, so let's unmute no uh, Novo so we can hear that by itself. So that's kind of what Novo is doing. It's kind of doing some fun stuff there. So uh, now let's go ahead and unmute, unsolo and unmute all of these things. So some of the last elements that I actually, um, let me show these. So I used another product, another UVI product um, called, um, called Meteor, uh, which is um, an amazing uh, rise and kind of impact um, uh, uh, software instrument. And of course, you know, you can't go wrong with a company who uh, designs a preset called 1.21 gigawatts. Uh, so <laughs> I don't know if anybody knows what that reference is from, but um, uh, if you don't, you should. Um, so there's um, there's a lot of um, uh, a lot of hits and rises. 
that I used uh, in addition to all these things. So let's just hear those. So I basically use that as kind of a slam into the uh, logo resolution. And so if we undo all of this stuff and hear it all once again, Sorry, we're hearing this now too. <laughs> I had an instance of machine in there that I never used. Um, so, um, so that's kind of the whole thing right there. Um, again, if you have any questions, definitely leave them in the comments below. If you'd like me to spend a little bit more time on a particular library here, again, all I used was Heaviosity and UVI. Um, Heaviosity's uh, Fortso and Novo, as well as Damage 2, which is really great. And then I used um, UVI's uh, Extreme Effects, as well as Meteor. So again, like I said, I'll be doing, um, I'll be doing some specific or some more in-depth uh, videos and reviews, if you will, of Falcon and Extreme Effects um, in a later video, but I wanted to kind of give you a little bit of a taste of what uh, those things can do. And uh, so, yeah, if you have any other questions, leave them in the comments below. I hope that was informative for you and you got value out of that. And if you did, I'd appreciate it if you did a solid and hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you have not already. You can also hit that little bell notification icon to be notified when new content is uploaded to the channel. And um, well, you know, I will see you in the next one.